Well, I think, you know, Dwight and I talk coming out of the All-Star break to really just keep working and trying to form a partnership and, uh, you know, to, to both try to get in that pick and roll when we can or to get him running and, and ducking in on the break and, and I'll look for him. And, and if, if we can look for each other and work together and, and get that pick and roll game going, I think it involves everybody and allows us all to be a threat. And I think it gives us energy at both ends of the floor. Steve, Steve what did you tell that with the emotions of the night, Dr. Bus passing, Dr. Bus is passing, Maybe you didn't know him as well as, uh, say, Cody or Cal, but how could you tell it wasn't just another game? Well, I think the pregame, you know, I mean, it was a pretty emotional uh, um, crowd and, and obviously what he meant to the city and franchise. And, you know, I think it's not lost on all of us, regardless of how long we've been here. I had an opportunity to meet Dr. Buss, and, uh, and it was a very special opportunity, and he was uh, an incredible person, you know, I think. You know, there's good reason why he's a legend. Steve, do you agree that Dwight was about as good as he's been all year in the first half, like by far? Well, I think he's had some good games, but he was definitely great tonight. Um, you know, just his commitment, you know, he really worked to try to do the little things for his teammates. And, you know, he, he makes such a big impact on the game, regardless of the stat sheet, when he plays with, with belief and hunger and energy. And, you know, we, he, he helps us out so much. We all got to try to help him, reward him when he rolls and get him the ball in the paint. And, you know, and uh, allow him to be a dominant force. Did he look healthier, though, even tonight? I don't know. I mean, I think he's not 100%. But I think, you know, when he just, you know, commits and goes forward and plays hard, you know, I think he might fool a lot of people. Steve, how humbling was it for you to pass Magic Johnson on the all-time assist list? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's crazy. I definitely didn't see that coming when I was 15 years old. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's just a... Uh, I mean, what can I say? It's almost embarrassing. He's an idol of mine, and uh, you know, I grew up watching him and idolizing him and trying to emulate him. And you know, to do it here in, in LA at his franchise is, is definitely special. In what, ways, in what ways do you think you were able to do that? Because obviously, you know, physically, you're very different players. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think we're, we're much different physically, but I think we have the same ideas, same similar mentalities. You know, we both have a knack and. and a, you know, creativity to try to find angles and opportunities to get our teammates the ball and put pressure on the defense and, and think ahead. And so, you know, I think in many ways uh, we, we play the game with a similar idea and just have to do it in different ways because of our, our differences. When you were 15, were you thinking more of passing Bobby Orr than you were? Uh, <laughs> well, I, I just quit hockey a couple of years ago, so I, 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 I just I was hoping to be a basketball player, but, you know, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, wasn't too many NBA players on my block.